Math 083, Final Exam Review, Problem 11, Parts A and B. In Problem 11, we will use the graph to find the domain and the range of each function. Let's look at the graph in Part A. Recall that the domain of a function is a list or set or description of the graph's x-coordinates. We can list the x-coordinates of each of these points. This first point right here, its x-coordinate is negative 6. We're not worried about its y-coordinate. The next point, the x-coordinate is negative 3. This point right here, its x-coordinate is 4. And this point here, its x-coordinate is 9. So if we list the x-coordinates for part A, we get that its domain is the set negative 6, negative 3, 4, and 9. Now let's determine its range. The range of a function is a list, set, or description of a graph's y-coordinates. Let's look at each of those points again. This point right here, its y-coordinate is 5. For the next point, its y-coordinate is 5 as well. Each of these points being at the same height above the x-axis, it is clear that their y-coordinate is 5. So the range has only one value, 5. Now let's look at part B. We have a function, passes a vertical line test. What is its domain? Well, domain, as we have written here, a list, set, or description of a graph's x-coordinates. In this case, we cannot label them one by one because there are infinitely many points. But we can describe where those x-values are situated. We find the leftmost point, and that will give us the least x-value. This point here is leftmost. Its x-coordinate is negative 7. Then we find the rightmost point. Its x value is 3. So the domain, negative 7, less than or equal to x, but strictly less than 3, because this point right here is not included in the graph of this function. Now let's find the range of this function. The range is a list, set, or description of a graph's y-coordinates. We will find the least y-coordinate and the greatest. But instead of looking left to right as we did for the domain, we will look bottom to top. The bottom point is right here, and its y-coordinate is negative 5. The highest point is right here, and its y-coordinate is 8. So the range, negative 5, less than or equal to y, strictly less than 8. Again, we have a strict inequality right here because this open circle here means this point is not included with the graph of the function.